Hey everybody, this is Mark. Um, I'd like to sh make a video today uh, about uh, how to hook up a MIDI kind of keyboard to the iPad to do some live music. And for that I will use two different um, keyboard types. One is uh, the old ones with the 5-pin MIDI connector and I will show you how to hook this old kind of MIDI uh, connectors to the iPad to do um, uh, music on the iPad and on the other side I will show you um, how to hook up um, some kind of more modern keyboards or with 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 a MIDI uh, output but not on a standard 5-pin cable or connector but with the USB MIDI and how to hook up uh, for this I will use a Roland A500 and it's specifically interesting because I had some troubles making it work even if it should be plug and play okay so um, first of all let's see to the uh, to the setup that we we have obviously we need some some kind of iPad in that case it's it's an iPad Air um, and concerning music two actually are uh, important um, aspects to see the one is this uh, lightning port here that's where you're gonna connect your um, USB to or lightning to USB converter to plug in your keyboard and give some MIDI commands and on the other side of course once you have done that you need some kind of um, audio output and this is gonna be done with this uh, 3.5 millimeters jack here that you see on, on this edge um, that's where the sound is gonna come out um, and produce your, your sounds um, and then you have this uh, famous um, uh, camera converter or how it used to be called um, now it's called the lightning to USB camera adapter and basically you see um, that's that's the piece here you have um, a lightning connector on the one side that you're gonna plug in into your iPad and on the other side you have a uh, uh, just traditional USB connector that's uh, actually all you have to get your MIDI input to your iPad okay the next thing that you will need of course is um, a keyboard uh, in that case it's a Roland A500 Pro keyboard uh, this keyboard has 61 keys and as you can see there's different um, sliders and buttons you can program you can also program some start and stop and you have some pads um okay so what's interesting about this is that um it's kind of a little bit more, more modern and what you have is actually you have here both kinds of connectors okay um on the one side you have here the traditional uh, MIDI 5 pin connectors so you have a out and you have a in um, and you have also a USB um, which means that uh, me you can send MIDI actually either on a traditional um, 5 pin uh, to connect to some called of older uh, MIDI equipment um, and you can send also MIDI through uh, your USB connector um, so the idea is now of course to plug in um, your lightning to USB connector with this um, USB out port that's the next step we're gonna do okay so let's see um, I have now hooked up a USB cable to the A500 um, of course because the A500 is powered through the USB port, uh, it uh, is not turned on. Um, on the other side of the USB cable, I have my um, USB or Lightning to USB cable. So I just plugged in uh, on the other end of the A500 USB cable. I plugged in my Lightning to USB cable adapter and so I'm gonna plug it in in the lightning port 
um, and let's see what's happened. Okay, we have an error, and the error is stating that um, the connected device is not supported, cannot use device A Pro. So he has recognized the A Pro, but it says that it's not supported for any reasons. Okay, so what's the problem? Okay, after googling a little bit, I found the error uh, cause, and it's because the A500 Pro has a so-called advanced driver mode. Uh, it's supposed to uh, help to have a better um, performance and to have uh, less slack between uh, uh, pressing a key on the keyboard and, and sending the MIDI message. Um, but it happens to be that by uh, turning on this advanced driver mode, uh, the interface, the MIDI uh, USB, is not class what we what is called class compliant anymore, and so that's why it causes an error on uh, the iPad. So we have to turn off this advanced driver mode, and this is done here. Um, by pressing um, the left uh, key and the edit button together and then we have to go to USB setting okay and then we have to press enter and you see you have this USB advanced driver again enter and now you turn it off, right? Um, you confirm. Um, are you out in the edit mode again? And by doing this, you make the keyboard class compliant. And now we will see if that helps. Okay, now so that I have turned off this advanced uh, driver mode, let's try to hook up again on my lightning and see what happens. Okay, we have a next error and this error says cannot use device um, A Pro, so recognized again, the connected device request too much power. Um, so basically, um, the A500 now is powered through the USB cable and through the Lightning cable. Actually, it's powered by the by the um, iPad, and it seems that um, the i500 Pro needs too much power, um, and so it cannot be used. So the only way I have found to um, uh, fix that problem is really to power the A500 Pro with its our with with its own power source. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so um, to power my A Pro 500 from Roland, um, uh, as you can see, there is no indication about the voltage here. Um, so I googled uh, searching for this PSB1U and uh, I was uh, finding then lucky to find um, this image here. Um, and this image gives me here the voltage of um, 9 volt uh, and the polarity of the, the connector being uh, plus for for the rim and, and minus for the tip. So um, by this I could then um, select um, a generic purpose uh, DC adapter and, and, and select it to 9 volt and then with the correct connector and, and polarity. Of course what I did have to do also was then here 
the power to uh, power it to DC instead of USB. So by doing that, um, I should then be able to actually to play the A500 Pro uh, connected through the uh, Lightning to USB connector uh, to the iPad. So let's see if that works. Okay, so to summarize, um, we have now the i500, uh, which is powered by its own power source with a DC adapter. And then we have an output of MIDI, um, which is uh, blocked as, as USB. So plug in uh, one end of the USB cable. And then um, on the other side of the USB cable, we have the ND adapter going in the lightning port. Um, on the other side, we have, of course, the output of uh, the iPad audio output to um, um, play back the sounds. Okay, so now, um, basically, when I look to the MIDI sources, Right, then you see that now I have the A port 1, 2, and 3. That's the, because the A500 Pro uh, has up to three ports which are um, implemented uh, in the USB MIDI. Um, and in the, that particular case, the Neo Soul Dino is able to turn on individually each of the ports. Um, and uh, uh, now it happens that port 2 is uh, connected uh, logically to the A500 Pro. Um, so I don't have any errors anymore. So when I plug in the lightning, I don't have any power problems or I don't have the incompatibility of the advanced uh, driver. And now um, when I play... As you can see, no lag, no errors, no nothing, it's just great. Um, on the uh, settings here, you have the possibility to, to set up uh, the latency. Um, so uh, you have uh, here the possibility to um, reduce the lag or the latency between pressing a key um, by reducing the number of frames so of course this will load more the, the CPU um, you see the CPU indication here so we have now 9.2% um, yes with uh, just playing nothing so we'll uh, you will see that load goes up when I play. So that's that's it, guys. Um, that's how it can work. Okay, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Um, the next video I'm going to do is to show how to um, hook up um, a normal MIDI 5-pin connector uh, to the iPad, uh, what kind of solutions you have there. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.